Pat Goldman here uh, once again and here I've got a, um, a 12 by 8 Nokia Finder Evo which I'm going to test over a few sized targets so from the left the target here is a 0.08 on the left a 0.34 a 1.09 and a 1.09 gram uh, nugget now they're all they're all gold and I use over my, over my um, test rig here as you can see there's no uh, interference no other targets around so let's just put on the 9 gram and see what happens now I'm running at mode 2 I'm running again at 3 I'm running threshold A at 65 because there's a bit of EMI around today and I'm running um, I'm running at null so I might just drop my null down my threshold B down right so I'm two under null I'm not sure if you can read that that scale but that's about seven inches eight inches eight inches on a uh, on a nine gram maybe a smidgen more so we'll just uh, swap that out for a 1.09 see that's probably about six inches maybe a smidgen more but around six inches you see it out so we'll switch that out now for a 0.34 So about four inches sees that out. Three and a half, four inches. Now I'll switch that out for a point, my famous 0.08 nugget. So. So you can see there, it's probably about, uh, I don't know, three inches, two and a half, three inches. Which I don't think is too bad for this coil. Um, anyway, I'd invite you guys to comment on just how you think that goes. So what I might do now is switch that around so that threshold A is at 30. So I'll drop that down to 30 and then I'll uh, drop threshold B so there we are 30 bring this down till it's noisy as I keep saying so about 44 for, most, for me at the moment so that's 5 under null go up one just a slight uh, threshold there now you'll notice the pitch has increased, it's a higher pitch. And I'm now easily getting that at three inches, where before it was probably a little bit iffy at three. So, you know, it's much the mustness really, with a way under null. Uh, maybe it's a bit th three and a half on this, on this 0.08 nugget so you know i'm just showing you two different ways to set it up depends on the emi of the day if it's a bad emi you drop your threshold a and use your threshold b to to get your depth back and your performance back so so all in all this is a good sized coil it's got reasonable ground coverage at uh, 12 inches long 
It's wide enough to give you a performance of a good 8-inch call, like against the 8-inch commander, or, you know, it, it competes, I guess, against that small coil brand size. So I'm still going to give you a good pickup on small targets, and gives you a good pickup on on larger targets. The uh, heel and toe access to the target is good. Yeah, the EMI, the coil on the ground is probably coming through. It's hard here in the suburbs. So that's what it's like in a big target. Now let's just sneak up on the small one. And as, now I expect this to not do much on the on the perimeter of the coil, but get it more at the centre because of the size of the target. Okay, so it's under the evolution sign on the on the coil. So it's about two inches in either side of the coil where you get the signal, which isn't too bad, I suppose, for a small piece. So it's a fairly responsive coil, it's not heavy. It's a good fit to uh, your QED. So I just invite your comments. From a ground balance point of view, this is the Begler Hill Dirt. It's um, not badly ground balanced there. I did balance it before I started this. This ground is very uh, uneven. If I go to the left hand side now, you know, amongst all those big bits, it's going to be way out. So it's a ground balance on there, but for the purpose of this video, it's just to show the, uh, the 12 by 8 in action. And on 0.08 piece, that's not bad. And that's getting around, as you can see there, 4 inches, which is pretty good. All right, that's the end of this little demo. Gold man out.